Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examined the Star Wars sequel trilogy, by far the big divide between fans was all caused by The Last Jedi, and even some of it by The Rise of Skywalker by Disney, Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, a handful of, of you guys out there may have very well enjoyed Episode 9, and that's perfectly fine. I myself thought it was a very on and off movie. And what I mean by that is that this movie had a lot of scenes that I either disliked or actually enjoyed. It was really like an up and down experience for me watching this film back in December of 2019. Now, when we look at everything related to The Rise of Skywalker, obviously Disney and Lucasfilm had a very tough production for this movie. You know, Kathleen Kennedy is the one who initiated many of the changes and adjustments to be made for Episode 9 in order to make it catered to a general audience and to the common moviegoer, which I think is the reason why, as to why at times it feels very convoluted or rushed at times, or the movie in and on itself does have a lot of issues. There's no denying that this movie does have a lot of problems problems with it, and it also has some quality moments in there as well. So when you look at J.J. Abrams, obviously, you know, he had a lot of plans because this movie, the original cut, was four hours and 20-something minutes long in length, and it really makes one wonder of what could have been for episode nine. Now, on top of all of this, what's rather intriguing all has to do with Mark Hamill and Kathleen Kennedy. Now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars universe, also known as their new Star Wars Expanded Universe, that is all set to introduce new eras to the Star Wars franchise. However, during many of the interviews, during and after the premiere of Episode 9, Mark Hamill was given many questions about the production and subjects related to Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, where it's noted that at one point Mark Hamill was questioned about Kathleen Kathleen Kennedy's leadership as head of Lucasfilm for the film, and that Mark was questioned about the production at one point in time. Mark stated that Kathleen Kennedy felt it wasn't necessary to have Luke Skywalker as a significant character in the film, and that many different endings were tested for the movie before they came to the final result and the final cut of the movie. Hamill states that it was Kennedy who actually was fine-tuning the changes to many different cuts of the ending of Episode 9 for the film, and that Kennedy had told Abrams to give it a specific tone. Now, when questioned about Palpatine's return, Hamill states that Kathleen Kennedy originally had other plans for Palpatine's return, and that it was far different than what we got in the final version of the film, which alludes to Matt Smith as the Dark Acolyte before he was cut from the movie. Hamill also revealed that Kathleen Kennedy initiated many of the rewrites to be done on set, primarily for the scenes shot over in Jordan and, of course, for the world of Pasana, and all the scenes shot over at Pinewood Studios in the UK, and that it was a very lengthy process for Daisy, Adam, John, and Oscar to go through. Now, though Hamill eventually only had a small role in the film, Mark revealed that he had, uh, he had, that he had actually filmed other scenes in the movie that they tested out that was unfortunately that actually did not work out for for the final cut of episode 9. So let's go over a couple of parts about this because obviously episode 9 in and on itself it proves to us the fans that there are moments in there that are very much rushed and convoluted and it just gives us a big signal about all the deleted scenes that basically happened, right? All the scenes that were deleted and or cancelled by Disney and Lucasfilm and that really is a big deal. It tells us the fans that what they really wanted to do before Kathleen Kennedy stepped in was that they wanted to take a lot of concepts from Colin Trevorrow's work in his script and in his concept artwork, what all the concept artists worked on for Duel of the Fates, which by the way was the original version of Episode 9 by Colin. A lot of those ideas were being used by J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy did not agree to that and Luke Skywalker was going to have a far more significant role than what he had in, of course, The Rise of Skywalker, which is literally next to nothing. Yes, sure, he has an important scene as a Force ghost. He shows Rey the path to go through to face Palpatine and to go back over to the world of Exegol and to face her fears. So yes, you know, Luke Skywalker did have some form of, you know, I guess you could say of a role in the movie that actually had a reason for Rey to actually push forward. You know, he lifts the X-Wing, he shows her the path to go to the world of Exegol, and it's a little bit of an homage to The Empire Strikes Back when Yoda lifts the X-Wing out of the swamp on Dagobah. 
So everything related to what Mark Hamill says here about Kathleen Kennedy of how there were also original plans for Palpatine that were completely put to the wayside and how Kathleen Kennedy wanted to do something entirely different for Palpatine portrayed by Ian McDermott in this role. It tells us a lot of things for episode nine without a doubt. And the last thing I just want to touch on here real quick is that Mark Hamill, you know, we do know that he was robbed for the character of Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, and even now for The Rise of Skywalker, I really do feel for the guy, but at the same exact time, we also can see the other side of Mark Hamill here is that we've seen a side of Mark Hamill where he started defending Ryan Johnson, where he kind of created this side where he started saying how he was wrong or how he felt bad about going in, uh, going against Ryan's work on Luke Skywalker. So you could see that Disney kind of caught up to Mark Hamill and told him to provide a different story of himself. So with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.